Hey everyone, I've been asked about doing a write-on effect with Paint and Stick. So I found this logo online. I don't know what Ink Butter is, but I really like their logo, uh, so I'm going to use it. Uh, here I have their logo and it has an alpha channel, which will be important. This is how the image came, white on black. So here I'm just going to use the extract filter. Let me just reset that and I'm going to move up the black point. So that does the key here and I'm going to bring up the black softness so that way it's smooth. So to do a draw on, first go to Layer, New Solid, and Apply Paint and Stick. Choose a frame location if you haven't already. And I'm going to do something that looks a little bit strange, but hear me out because this is really useful. We want the logo to be white, so on Paint and Stick, I'm going to hold Alt and choose white as my color. And to do the draw on, to make my life easier, I'm actually going to change the color of the actual logo here by using a fill. And I'm just going to use a uh, darker gray so you can see it, but you can't see it too much. And then with this draw on layer, I'm going to use something called uh, Preserve Underlying Transparency. Not a lot of people know about it. I'll draw a stroke here. And see, that's just a regular stroke. But when I turn on Preserve Underlying Transparency, the layer is only going to show the color values, but the alpha values are going to be taken from everything underneath it. So my general process will be to just go frame by frame uh, using this method to draw this on. So if I press U, I can take a look at the keyframes down here. And uh, if I go to my next keyframe and then I draw the next segment of the draw on, uh, this is going to be problematic. So actually, let me just clear both of those keyframes. So when I draw my first frame here, what you want to do is you want to make sure it's a hold frame. Uh, I'm going to select this and hold down Control Alt and click on Windows, uh, Command Alt and click on Mac. And then when I go to my next frame, I can draw it. And you'll notice that it's going to keep the frame behind it when you move forward because it's a hold frame and it's just going to add on the next part of your drawing. I'm also going to turn off fast draw, which is this button right here. You can use D to toggle draw modes. And then I'll go to my next frame. And my next frame. And my next frame. All right, and here I have a little problem. So I'm just going to zoom in. I'm going to press E to toggle to my eraser, and I'm just going to clean up this edge. One of the things I can do, uh, actually this is such a simple job, I don't need to see my cursor. I'm just going to toggle show brush and cursor here. That's a little bit nicer. Maybe tweak that line just a little bit. All right, I think that looks pretty good. And I'll go back to my brush and move to my next frame. And my next frame. Okay, so now I'm just going to quickly uh, play this back. And you'll see that we're getting the start of a draw on effect here. Also, if you want your first frame to be blank, you can just uh, move these over. So I'm just going to speed through this a little bit. All right, let's play that back. All right, not looking too bad. One thing I want to show real quick is what happens when you turn off Preserve Underlying Transparency. Uh, these are just all my strokes. And as a reminder, I'm just drawing them pretty loosely. And uh, because of Paint on Transparent, it's conforming to the logo. Uh, and when I actually do finalize this, since I know some of you don't want to sit around all day to watch me do the whole thing, uh, the way that I would probably do it is I would just take this fill and set this to black here, like that, and uh, that's how I complete my animation. So I'm just going to uh, turn this back to gray, but I'll show you the main reason I used Preserve Underlying Transparency instead of using an alpha mat, because I'm sure that's what most of you were thinking was uh, probably do something like this, uh, use an alpha mat here and uh, wipe it on. Now that could totally work, but uh, I always like to keep everything in one comp. So actually, um, what I'm going to do is make a new solid. 
apply a painting stick. And the nice advantage here is uh, that I can start drawing on a different letter here. And because I'm not using a single mat, I can use two layers at once. So I'm going to uh, toggle on uh, Preserve Underlying Transparency. And I'll start drawing down here on this B. Again, I'll shut off Fast Draw. Again, I'm going to set this keyframe to a hold keyframe. And move to my next frame. All right, so let's take a look at what we have here. Okay, not too bad. And uh, the nice advantage here is that because these are on separate layers and uh, nothing is pre-composed, I can just kind of play with this timing. If I want this uh, to come on after, say, this letter touches here, so I'm just going to scoot forward. I'll slide this up and say, all right, it's going to start here. I'll just extend my uh, frame range a little bit. Cool. All right, admittedly, I didn't do the best job here, um, but you can. This is just an example, just a tutorial. So I'm just going to go through here and keep doing layers. I'm just going to do this one piece here. And actually, what I might want to do to save time is uh, just duplicate this layer over so I don't have to do my setup again. But anyway, moving on to the next frame. All right, now I'm just going to go back and uh, do the other part of this as well. Trimming my layers to keep them neat. All right, let's play that back. Maybe I'll uh, play with the timing of this one a little bit. Have this happen a little earlier. Okay, so right here I'll start these two layers. And of course I'll just make sure to extend all these layers so none of them shut off. So that's generally how you would do a write-on animation. I'm going to finish this one. Uh, I'm going to pause the camera because there's no point in seeing everything. Uh, but then I'll come back. All right, so this is what I came up with. I just drew a couple more layers here. And uh, now I'm going to set this to black. And it looks pretty good. So for the last finishing touch, let's say I wanted to put in a background and I didn't want it to be just black. And I'll just put on a ramp. Maybe make this a radio ramp. Okay, good enough for example sake. So now when I take this background layer and I move it to the bottom, we're going to have problems. Well, the issue is that uh, now we have a solid alpha here, now that we have this background in here, so everything with uh, Preserve Underlying Transparency is going to show up in its entirety. Well, all you have to do to fix this is uh, take all these layers here, all these uh, matte layers, and pre-compose them. So now if we just go into here, you can't see anything, but now you can shut off Preserve Underlying Transparency. So now you're getting the matte animating on. And then back in your main comp, just take this uh, ink butter logo, set it to alpha matte. And now the draw on is working correctly. And I think I'll just turn off this fill. Thanks for watching.
You can find more tutorials at ascripts.com slash paint and stick.